need to focus on taking the castle back. Lost track of how many blisters I got. Yeah? What gave you the idea we're friends? What? I hope you find your son. Hey. Hey, Codsworth. Shall I accompany you, sir? Yes, of course. Right behind you, sir. Hey. Sir, what's mine is yours, sir. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will.
Yes? Every piece in here is worth what I charge for it. No arguments. I'll take a look, sure. Odds and ends. Since we shopping right here. Ah, oh, is that a protector over there? Please, sir. Good to see another robot in town. I'm Carl. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Not surprising it failed. Shoddy work. Chin up, though. Never know when parts may turn up. We let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking sin. opinion be a great quote he's my client piper why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs well well speak of the devil you're back and not with your son what happened where do you want me to start the part where kellogg turned out to be working for the institute or the part where he told me they have sean the institute oh boy I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. A man like that would have had access, in and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? That's what I thought. He's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. <sighs> Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. 
gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. 